All right, welcome to the final little chunk uh, about the robot. Might be more videos, but this is the final one about the robot. Uh, we're just talking about the modules uh, that are in this drive motor unit. Uh, obviously, it finishes with drive polygon. That's the last thing. Uh, but there's a couple modules building up to it. I just kind of wanted to tell you what, what to expect. Uh, the first module. The first module is all about using this, uh, this kind of pattern one thing that we saw last time. Uh, where did that thing go? Um, so this run forever, sleep, and then stop. Module one, like you have to set the speed, you have to know how long to run at that speed, and then you have to stop. It's kind of an annoying way to use the robot. We make you do it in module one just so you kind of get used to it. Module two will show you a better way to do it, to use those more advanced commands like run to rel position and things like that. What you'll be doing in modules one and two is converting, right? So the API is all about degrees per second and things like that. Um, but obviously you care about like, inches like like distance traveled uh, per second so you're going to be doing conversions um, so for example let's say you had an omega so this is a, an angular velocity of 400 degrees per second so that's how fast the wheel's going and you wanted to know the the linear velocity right like how fast does it make this thing move um, the conversion uh, is that you have to know the diameter of the wheel uh, the diameter of the wheel is roughly 1.3 inches it's kind of interesting that the diameter changes depending on the surface you're on, depending on how much the crawler tracks kind of like bite into the carpet. Um, won't go into the details. It's a 1.3 inch diameter circle. Fine. Um, with 1.3 inches uh, on the diameter circle, that means the circumference is, is really close to four inches. Close enough that I'm going to round it to say it, it just is four inches, right? Because again, it changes a little bit depending on like your carpet versus uh, hard floor. So it's four inches uh, for every lap of the motor. That makes your conversions actually much easier. So if we have 400 degrees uh, per second, uh, we can multiply that uh, by our conversion factor, which is that four inches is equal to 360 degrees. So that's our conversion factor. Uh, and when you multiply that out, you can see that that omega of 400 degrees per second is about four inches in a second. So it's kind of like you know, about that fast, right? And interestingly, you can determine that experimentally uh, just by running some tests with different omegas uh, and then figuring out what that V is. Uh, you can actually experimentally determine that, that conversion factor. So M1, you're gonna experimentally determine that conversion factor. Your experiment is gonna be a little off um, and that's because motors don't start instantly at that speed. They take a little while to ramp up to it. Um, so your experiment will be a little off, but you should get something in the neighborhood of like 0 0.01 for that conversion factor. Um, and hopefully your experiment matches the theory. I always like to do things in classes where experiment matches theory. It's amazing. That's M1 and M2. Um, M3 and M4 are all about making methods. Um, and you're going to put those methods into a class. The class uh, lives in robotcontroller.py. Uh, the class is going to be called Snatcher. Um, we call it Snatcher because the build of this robot, this is the Snatcher robot. Um, it was made by Lawrence Volk, by the way, uh, in his book. I've got it sitting around here somewhere. Uh, but a really cool robot. That's why we picked it for this class. So you're going to create a class called Snatcher. Snatcher has different methods. It's got a method called drive inches that you're going to make. You're going to tell it how many inches you want to drive and how fast you want to do it. Um, it's going to have a method called turn degrees. So you want your robot, like you want to be able to turn 90 degrees, right? Um, you're going to say, hey, how many uh, degrees do you want to go? If you want to go positive, uh, that's a left turn. So if you want to go 90 degrees and how fast you want to do it. Um, and by the way, if you say 300, what it's going to do is it's going to actually take this crawler track and it's going to make it go backwards at 300 uh, and this one go forwards at 300. Uh, and that's going to result in a rotation. I broke my robot a little there. Um, and so by having a class, you're going to encapsulate a lot of the like low level APIs and it's going to make your robot much easier to use. And this class um, is going to be shared by your team, right? So the more things other team members put in there, uh, the more like things you can easily do. And so by the time you actually get to drive Polygon, uh, you're going to be using these class methods and, and your code for drive Polygon, um, this is kind of pseudo code here, um, is going to be very simple, right? Which is cool. Uh, so these are the different uh, modules that you're going to work uh, building your way up to driving in Polygons. Uh, there's a couple examples if you want to look at our examples. Uh, the examples obviously don't use a class because um, you know you haven't written the class yet, uh, but you can look at those examples uh, to try to help you write your own code. 
uh, and then here's the different modules that you're going to work. Uh, so everybody's going to work within their own member folder. Folder. Technically, only one person has to demo the work, but I recommend everybody understand it. One good way to understand it is to put your own version in your own area. And then you're going to work as a team on Robot Controller. Again, make sure one person does the git commits and other people do the git updates. Otherwise, you, you run into git conflicts. And that, they're easy to fix, but they're easier to avoid, right? Uh, and so that's, uh, that's what we got for this uh, unit. You're going to learn about the drive motors. Obviously, there's a lot of other cool parts of the robot. There's an arm, there's sensors, things like that. But driving around is the most important thing you can do with mobile robots. So we're kind of teaching you that first. The other thing I'll say is, uh, you know, give the robots a little bit of love. In the real world, things go wrong sometimes. Uh, just try to do the best you can to get your robot working, um, you know, the best you can. So like if it's turn degrees are slightly different from one run to the next, you know, roll with it, right? So make it work. Uh, try to just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Uh, enjoy this unit. Hopefully you'll learn a lot from actually doing this stuff, uh, a lot more from just listening to a lecture. See you in class. Bye. Mm -hmm.